Hello and welcome to this podcast. Today I'd be like I'd like to talk about Kirby, Kirby games, and how he hasn't and basically that he hasn't been in 3D. Now <clears throat> Kirby hasn't been in 3D even though 3D technology has long been existent. And we actually got our first glimpse at what Kirby might be like in 3D with the pseudo 3D of um, Kirby 64, how how he could walk in a straight line, but he'd be turning, so he'd be walk so he'd be walking. He'd only move along an X and Y axis, um, while be controlled by us, the player. On, on an X and Y axis, but he, but it was clearly visible he was also moving on a Z axis as well. Like in one stage where he makes a 90 degree turn. But how, how could, how could, how, how could Hal Labs do it right? First, we have to get the level design out of the way. Kirby isn't very fast, and. Also, he flies, okay? That's what he does. So flying often needs an open environment, and and because he, he's not that fast, it can he can go in 360 degrees more easily than, say, Sonic the Hedgehog, who's fast and, and is easier to control when going in a straight line. <clears throat> so... So I think it should be wide open levels, just like Mario 64 in, in the level design. I still think it should be a point A to point B kind of thing. So in that in that sense, it might also be more like more like Sonic, I guess. But. Uh, I think it should be like one level f for one use and not like Mario 64, Mario Galaxy or or like a lot of or a lot of collectathons. I think it should be like one one level per goal. And uh, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um could, and how would we control Kirby in this space though? Um he would have to, uh, well, I, I, I think he should, um, have, uh, like, I think he should be able to fly, well, of course he's gonna fly, that's one of his main powers, but if you were to fly, I think it'd be, I, th I think it'd be helpful if the, if the camera followed him from back whenever he flew, but I think it should be fixed to the back, like, not not like forcibly fixed but that's where it should start out as and maybe even a fixed to back button also us but there would also be like a free camera movement with uh, with uh, I think the right I think the right stick would work well for camera movement and maybe the cl maybe the click of it because I do believe they are clickable triggers um, the click of it would be able to would be able to set it to the fix to the fix behind cameras to, to the behind Kirby function. Um, he but whenever he flew, it'd always be behind his back. And uh, also, also I think that uh, a power that'd be really helpful. Um, he's known for sucking in enemies and uh, using their powers, but I think it might be a bit harder to uh, suck in enemies on a, on, a th on a 3D plane than it is a 2D plane. So I think maybe if Kirby had a, a move where he sucked in 360 degrees, maybe perhaps by pressing a button and then circling the control stick, uh, maybe that would, maybe that pretty optimal. Maybe that would work well. Um, 
and uh, a personal thing I'd like to come back is the power mixing from our Kirby 64, but if it's like one, but also if it's like the super power or whatever it's called um, from Return to Dreamland, that would also be that also be pretty cool. Um, leave your leave your thoughts and other things in the description below if you have anything to say or contradict opinions. Uh, thank you very much and bye.